What are some of the uh, key points that, uh, that you talked to them about today? Well, I think it's very interesting whether you're involved in pageants or extracurricular activities. One of the girls was in FFA. You know, anytime you are presenting yourself to other people, which really we all are on a daily basis, but if you're in some sort of leadership role or in a notable role where you're in front of people, I think that posture, speaking ability, eye contact, all of those types of things are considered presentation. And as I said in the little workshop, they really say that 75% of what people think of you is how you present yourself before you even open your mouth. So there's a lot in body language and posturing, just like I said, eye contact, I'm shaking hands. How many times, especially with teenagers, you know, I'm at events, you go to shake their hand, they have no idea how to grip and grin. I shake a hand, say hello, say hi, my name is... I mean, I try to teach my children who are 8 and 10 already because they go to events with me. And it's very important to me that they learn that about business because that's not just pageant. Um, that is more in life skills management. And I think that a lot of times people associate pageants with frivolous skills that girls will never use. And I could not beg to differ more because I think all of those public speaking skills I really gained through competing in the Miss America system. And I use them every day. Did you always want to design, focus on evening wear, or did you gravitate toward that? Actually, my specialty in design is more on tailoring and suits. I got into evening wear because I just I just got back into fashion in 2007 after my husband and I um, exited the political scene, which was so right. great. <laughs> I still smile larger every day that we're out of it. But evening wear is a natural uh, segue for me, having been Miss America, and people associate Miss Americas with evening wear. I would love in the future to cross over into ready to wear. I've been asked by a lot of contestants to do interview dresses, interview suits, so who knows what the next 10 years. I mean, listen, I'm such a diverse person. I may even start that tomorrow. You just never know what I'm going to do. 